polarized 3D system. A polarized 3D system uses polarization glasses to create the illusion of three-dimensional images by restricting the light that reaches each eye An example of stereoscopy. To present stereoscopic images and films, two images are projected superimposed onto the same screen or display through different polarizing filters. The viewer wears low-cost eyeglasses, which contain a pair of different polarizing filters. As each filter passes only that light, which is similarly polarized and blocks the light polarized in the opposite direction, each eye sees a different image. This is used to produce a three-dimensional effect by projecting the same scene into both eyes, but depicted from slightly different perspectives. Multiple people can view the stereoscopic images at the same time. Types of polarized glasses Linearly polarized glasses to present a stereoscopic motion picture, two images are projected superimposed onto the same screen. The viewer wears linearly polarized eyeglasses, which also contain a pair of orthogonal polarizing filters oriented the same as the projector. As each filter only passes light, which is similarly polarized and blocks the orthogonally polarized light, each eye only sees one of the projected images, and the 3D effect is achieved. Linearly polarized glasses require the viewer to keep his or her head level as tilting of the viewing filters will cause the images of the left and right channels to bleed over to the opposite channel. This can make prolonged viewing uncomfortable as head movement is limited to maintain the 3D effect. Circularly polarized glasses To present a stereoscopic motion picture, two images are projected superimposed onto the same screen. The viewer wears eyeglasses, which contain a pair of analyzing filters, circular polarizers mounted in reverse of opposite handedness. Light that is left circularly polarized is blocked by the right handed analyzer, while right circularly polarized light is blocked by the left handed analyzer. The result is similar to that of stereoscopic viewing using linearly polarized glasses, except the viewer can tilt his or her head, as shown in the figure. The analyzing filters are constructed of a quarter wave plate QWP and a linearly polarized filter LPF. The QWP always transforms a circularly polarized light into linearly polarized light. However, the angle of polarization of the linearly polarized light produced by a QWP depends on the handedness of the circularly polarized light entering the QWP. In the illustration, the left-handed circularly polarized light entering the analyzing filter is transformed by the QWP into linearly polarized light, which has its direction of polarization along the transmission axis of the LP. Therefore, in this case the light passes through the LPF. In contrast, right-handed circularly polarized light would have been transformed into linearly polarized light that had its direction of polarization along the absorbing axis of the LPF, which is at right angles to the transmission axis, and it would have therefore been blocked. By rotating either the QWP or the LPF by 90 degrees about an axis perpendicular to its surface, i.e. parallel to the direction of propagation of the light wave, one may build an analyzing filter which blocks left-handed, rather than right-handed circularly polarized light. Rotating both the QWP and the LPF by the same angle does not change the behavior of the analyzing filter. System construction and examples On TV and computer screens, polarizing techniques are easier to apply with cathode ray tube CRT technology than with liquid crystal display LCD. Ordinary LCD screens already contain polarizers for control of pixel presentation. This can interfere with these techniques. In 2003, Kago Izuka discovered an inexpensive implementation of this principle on laptop computer displays using cellophane sheets. One can construct a low-cost polarized projection system by using a computer with two projectors and an aluminium foil screen. The dull side of aluminium foil is brighter than most silver screens. This was demonstrated at Frajong Glau University, Nantaberi, Thailand, September 2009. Healthcare. In optometry and ophthalmology, 
Polarized glasses are used for various tests of binocular depth perception, i.e. stereopsis. History Advantages and disadvantages Compared to anaglyph images, the use of polarized 3D glasses produces a full-color image that is considerably more comfortable to watch and is not subject to binocular rivalry. However, it requires a significant increase in expense. Even the low-cost polarized glasses typically cost 50% more than comparable red cyan filters. And while anaglyph 3D films can be printed on one line of film, a polarized film was often done with a special setup that uses two projectors. The use of multiple projectors also raises issues with synchronization, and a poorly synchronized film would negate any increased comfort from the use of polarization. This problem was solved by a number of single-strip polarized systems which were standard in the 1980s particularly with the linear polarization schemes popular since the 1950s. The use of linear polarization meant that a level head was required for any sort of comfortable viewing. Any effort to tilt the head sideways would result in the polarization failing, ghosting, and both eyes seeing both images. Circular polarization has alleviated this problem, allowing viewers to tilt their heads slightly although any offset between the eye plane and the original camera plane will still interfere with the perception of depth. Because neutral gray linear polarizing filters are easily manufactured, correct color rendition is possible. Circular polarizing filters often have a slight brownish tint, which may be compensated for during projection. Until 2011, home 3D television and home 3D computer primarily used active shutter glasses with LCD or plasma displays. TV manufacturers LG Vizio have introduced displays with horizontal polarizing stripes overlaying the screen. The stripes alternate polarization with each line. This permits using relatively inexpensive passive viewing glasses, similar to those for movies. The principal disadvantage is that each polarization can display only half as many scanning lines. Advantages Generally inexpensive. Do not require power. Do not require a transmitter to synchronize them with the display. Do not suffer from flicker. Lightweight. Comfortable. Disadvantages the images for polarized glasses have to share the screen simultaneously in which full, native resolution is downgraded, compromising picture quality of both sides of the image delivered to each eye simultaneously. A full 1080 picture results from image fusion. This disadvantage does not occur on projections where each pixel can contain information for both eyes. Associated with the headaches many people attribute to 3D viewing. Narrow vertical viewing angles compared to active shutter 3D 